Well, hello, 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 everybody. The name is Falconize, and welcome back to Trails in the Sky, second chapter. So, the last time we finally arrived at the Zeiss region, and uh, I cannot wait to meet Tita, of course. And um, there's something, something happened going on, you know, like some shaky, shaky <laughs> when we arrive at the Zeiss. And we'll try, we, I guess we're gonna try to investigate that. So, yeah. And I haven't done anything because I cannot get out from this place unless if I visit uh, Professor Russell house first. So the, the, the game even even the game knows what's up, you know. <laughs> go meet Tita first. Don't do anything. Meet Tita first, okay? So, all right, let's go. Ah, there we go. Russell home and factory, huh? That's new <laughs> because usually doesn't have anything like that but anyway huh are professor russell and tita even in from what i know of russell it wouldn't surprise me if he is at the central factory grandpa the second floor's cleaned up thank you tita could you organize the parts next okay there she is <laughs> i don't think we have to worry about finding them come on then are you ready uh Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, so good. I quite forget what voice I give to Professor Russell, though. Mm -hmm. Working hard, Tita? Dun dun dun! Huh? Oh, Shara! Hi! What brings you here? Hmm? Wait, I remember you. Cassius Bright's apprentice, right? Mm hmm. It's been a while, you two. It's really a bit of a mess in here. Is it because of the earthquake? Oh yeah, sorry. Hiya, everyone. What? Hi. <laughs> sorry, I haven't been in touch. Estelle, hello. Es es Estelle. Oh, <laughs> look at her. What? Tita, what's It's Ah, <laughs> it's really you. I thought you were gone forever. Wait, hang on. Gone forever? I never do that. But, 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 I had Joshua run away, and then you left the country. I thought I was never going to see you again. Ah. Oh, Tita, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left without saying anything. As I recall, Kesha sent you off to that Brazel school in Lemon, didn't he? When did you get home? I got back just a little while ago. I was working in Ruan after getting back. I only just arrived in size. I see. Well, welcome back. Ah, wait. The Jew with you. Hello, Professor. Tita. I'm sorry. I've been out of touch as well. <laughs> Pardon our intrusion, good sir. Chloe, Olivier, everyone's here. This is wonderful. They're helping us with our investigation. A lot of stuff happened in Ruan. Hmm. Well, let's get comfortable and hear the story, eh? Come, I'll show you the living room. I mean, we've just been there, but whatever. So the true force behind the coup is on the move again. And they had another gospel with them? Troubling. A holographic projector that can show an image all the way across the region? How? How is that even possible? Well, the concept of a projected holograph is nothing new. I've been kicking around ideas for pulling it off myself, even. But a device that can project a lifelike, three-dimensional image great distance, distance, <laughs> great distances away from its origin point? I can scarcely, even scarcely, even imagine the physics behind such a thing. Hmm. That video we fought said something about the, an experiment with a new gospel. It did seem bigger than the one from before, but it didn't stop our orbments. Say on that note, how is the gospel we captured a while ago? Have you made any progress in analyzing it? Hmm, about that. The more I investigate the, that little enigma, the stranger it gets. Stranger? Yes, let me start at the end actually. I am convinced the herbal shutdown phenomenon is not a function of the device itself. Wh what? But, but that black orbman has stopped our other orbmas dead in their tracks. We've seen it, Professor. 
you've seen a friend stop in his presence. That isn't quite the same thing, my lady. No matter how I look at it, though, the quartz in the device simply cannot actually do that. It can certainly warp herbal fields. Oh, how it can do that? But suppress them? No. Warp herbal fields? Oh, herbal field refers to the electromagnetic field generated by an individual herbal device. With normal ornaments, you can describe an orbital field by drawing its field lines, and those, and those follow very specific rules. When Grandpa tested the gospel, though, its field didn't obey those rules at all. This is going a little above my pretty little head, I'm afraid. Yeah, afraid not much is registering. <laughs> In layman's terms, it's a warped orbital field that doesn't obey the laws of such things as we understand them. Regardless of that though, ultimately an orbital field amounts to nothing more than orbital energy in an area. Unless you were to apply for a specific direction and propose to them, you shouldn't get the orbital shutdown phenomenon effect regardless. To be honest, I'd been utterly stuck on this. But with your report of the holographic business, I may have an idea. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how that was useful, but you're welcome. The Royal Army has custody of the device of device the Autobotters agent used. I'm sure they'll let you have an have a look at it if you contact them. Hmm, I may just do that. Speaking of which, what are you going to be up to now? Will you be working in size for a while? Oh yeah, about that. Estelle explained the situation concerning the guild's request to investigate the earthquakes. Ah, so Gilika thinks the earthquakes. Hmm. Well, it is true that earthquakes are rare here in Liberal, and she is correct about the earthquake at the Wolf Ford. Three days ago, I think Miss Gilika is right. I don't remember Zeiss getting any tremors at all. This that is kind of weird. Well, it's a natural phenomenon, so I kind of doubt the society is involved. It's still pretty weird though, and we'd like to figure out what's going on. Indeed, earthquakes, huh? I wonder if it would be useful. Huh? Let me guess, Professor. You have an old invention in the toolbox which might help. Hmm, I do have something in mind. But then how would we... Wait, transmit the data back here using... And then hook it to the... Yeah, hook it into the chapel. Of course! <laughs> yes, it did work perfectly. Uh, Professor Russell, could you keep the rest of us in the lube? Ah, uh, don't worry. I need to check a few things regardless before we start. I recommend heading to the Wolf Fort and learn from them what happened. I'll see about preparing you a little something useful for when you get back. Well, I definitely won't say no, but what little something are we talking about here? That it spoil the surprise, just you wait. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get to the central factory. You just have to pro beat Murdoch into going along. Tita, would you mind helping your old grandpa? Um, maybe? Estelle, I'm sorry. We finally meet again after so long and... Uh, <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry, Tita. We'll, we'll still run for quite some time, so... It's all good, it's all good. I'm just happy I get to see you again. We'll be inside for a good long time, so I'm sure we'll have a chance to spend some time together. As the hell. Yeah, I cannot wait. Um, um, I'm sorry we couldn't give you much of a welcome. <laughs> Don't worry, Tita. We'll stop by again if the chance comes up, Tita. Perhaps on that day, I too can be greeted with such moist, welcoming eyes. And on that day, you'll have two black eyes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> huh? Anyway, see you later. We'll contact the guild once we're ready. Alright, bye. I have no idea what voice I give Professor Russell. I just go with it and... <laughs> well, those two haven't changed at all. Yes, Tita hasn't lost any of her adorableness. Indeed, I know, right? I was saving to fight the urge to just pick her up and hug her. Indeed, a lost little girl being swept up into the arms of a loving brotherly minstrel after ages of separation. Such a dramatic scene, the thought makes my heart swell. If you try to grab her out of the blue like that, I'd have to arrest you for abduction, you nitwit. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I understand what Shirazad means. Did I the kind of girl you wish 
you wish was your little sister. I envy you, Estelle. Indeed! <laughs> hey, Chloe, cut it out. Well, don't worry, everyone will get to know her soon enough. Except for Olivia, maybe. Estelle, an arrow! My heart! All's fair in love and siblings, my dear Leinheim. Now then, let's get started on our guild business, hmm? You're right, we should. So let's make our way over to the wolf fort while we work on those other jobs. Yeah, we got tons of jobs now, so... Hmm... Well, I mean, most of these are pretty much, uh... Has a long, like, time limit, but there is one that's short, but I'm not sure which... Where's the guild? Where is the guild? It should be around here. There we go. But there's one that sh has a short. Hmm. completion practice. Leicester Fortress? Um. We have to go to Leicester Fortress. Or maybe to Wolf, Wolf Fort. I think we should go to the Wolf Fort, right? Uh, yeah, we have to go to the Wolf Fort, so. Well, at least it's not really <laughs> the same way. Okay, so probably I'm just gonna do the quest on the Leiston Fortress first. So I'm just gonna cut it out, so yeah. Alright, finally. I already bit, uh, finished the one quest this thing only. <laughs> but my god, it's super challenging. Let me see. <sighs> it doesn't really... Oh, F+, Septium Vein. Huh. What is that? Let me see... Septium Vein? What is this? Increase all type of Sabbath drop by Monster Pie. Ooh, this is gonna be nice! Ooh, I want this. I want this. But I don't... I'm not gonna set up all of this now. I'm gonna do it later after we finish recording. After we finish this video, this episode. Plus, I still need to upgrade all of these people. Uh... Uh, Artman system and stuff, so... Okay. Wait, we should go to the Wolf Fort. Why do I go up here? <laughs> Wolf Fort is, should be on the Tre Tre Plains Road. So let's go down. Alright. Oh, goodness. There's no more of that, thank you. <laughs> Super intense. That, that side quest is just... Ah, jeez. Uh, Wolf Fort, okay, so... Wolf Fort, okay, got it. Alright, I guess I'll just gonna cut it right away. Okay, here we are at long last. <laughs> Wolf Fort, jeez. It's quite, it's quite a walk, you know. And here's the Wolf Fort. It's really peaceful here. I guess we don't need to worry about Calfart invading us and stealing our puppies or something, huh? <laughs> Quite a difference compared to the Hacken Gate. Of course, unlike my glorious fatherland, Calfart and Liberal are easy friends. These are reasons for that, you realize. I imagine our relationship with Calfart has something to do with it. Although, beyond the gate is a mountain pass that would be difficult for a full army to pass through. That's why the gate is so small as well, so as I recall. Ah, yes, far different from the Hackett Gate, which, which faces onto a great open road. I'm still not quite sure about the free-range poultry either way, though. Anyway, let's start asking around about the earthquake, hmm? We should probably check in with the guard commander first. Right. Alright. Let's see. X. Nope. Oh. Give me some eggs! Eggs! <laughs> eggs! Well, I did already get something, so I guess that's enough. Uh, okay, so... There we go. Sup? Ah, you the braces the guild called ahead about, right? Here to investigate the earthquake from what Miss Kilika said on the phone. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Wow, I keep forgetting how... Uh, thorough Kilika is. <laughs> she even keep us on our toes every now and then. Anyway, we'll do everything we can to help. We appreciate that, thank you. Let's start with your account of what happened during the earthquake then. Well, let's see. 
The earthquake happened three days ago at roughly 1700 hours. The quake itself wasn't all that strong, and it only lasted 10 seconds. Still though, earthquakes rarely seen happen around here. Some of my men are spooked, let me tell you. The part that spooked me though, once I contacted command at Leyston Fortress to report, they told you that no other part of the region had experienced an earthquake, yes? Exactly right, miss. And it wasn't just Leyston. Even Sang Tame Gate didn't feel anything, and they're practically up the damn road. I called it, I called in to Zeiss and Elbow, and they and learned that felt not felt nothing either. It's like Kilika said. Speaking of which, did you hear there was an earthquake in Zeiss today? Yeah, I heard about that. And that's the thing, we didn't feel so much as a wobble here. Localized earthquakes that only strike small, specific areas? Not what I would call the most natural thing in the world. So that's the earthquake then. Did anything else out of place happen around that time? Was anyone strange seen, for example? Mmm, nope. I've heard no meaningful reports of, from my men. It's possible they saw something so minor they didn't feel the need to report it to me immediately, though. Feel free to ask them some questions. Maybe jog their memories a bit. Sure. Thanks, sir. Let's go talk to the gate guards. Alright, let's do that. We can do that much, so... <sighs> hmm. So, um, we're from the Brazil Guild. I hope we're not disturbing you, but could you answer some questions? Oh, oh, uh, sure. I still ask the soldier about any odd things he might have seen when the earthquakes happened. Odd things? Hmm. I was uh, checking the light blocking abilities of my hat when the quake hit. I thought the chief was yelling at me at first. <laughs> but no, I didn't see anyone around. I mean, I thought it was a prank at first, not, a, not an earthquake. Wasn't really all that strong. This isn't so much a strange occurrence as it is as an as it is an admission that you're awful at your job. Ah, uh, but to sleep standing? That is a rare skill as though. <laughs> I, however, can consume an entire full course meal while asleep on a sofa. That's not something to brag about, Lenheim. So, um, was there anything else you can remember? At all? Hmm, actually, Henning said he saw something weird, but... Something weird? Well, this was the day before the earthquake, mind you. One of the other guards here, Henning, asked if anyone passed, passed through the gate. When I told him I hadn't seen anyone, he just shook his head. Well, that's curious. I wonder what that was about. He might be able to tell us something. Let's go talk to this Henning guy. So, where is this Henning guy then? Are you Henning? Do you have something? I already have it, so... Let's see... Are you Henning? Yes, you are. Uh, hello. What is it? Hello, we're from the Brazil Guild. We have a few questions about an earthquake that happened three days ago, if you don't mind. Oh yeah, gotta say it was a surprise. First time I've ever been in an earthquake. I had no idea what was going on. So what did you want to know? So, the thing is, we talked to Brahm and, uh... I still explain what they heard from Brom. Oh, right, that. Yeah, I did ask him that. You asked it if someone had passed through the gate? Yeah, let me explain. So four days ago, I just finished my watch and was going off duty. Just as I was leaving, though, I saw a weird man coming up the road. A weird man? Was it a man garbed in white with, in white with a mask, perchance? A mask? No, no, he wasn't that weird. He was a tall guy wearing a black suit. He also had this black glasses on. Black glasses? Like black frames or something? No, that's the thing. The lenses were stained dark. Uh, wouldn't that mean you couldn't see in front of you? You could! <laughs> it's not really... It's not like a... Plast... I don't know how to explain it, you know? It's just a shade. It pretty much is shade, you know? Uh, wait, no. Those would be sunglasses, yeah, it's pretty much that. They are designed to block strong sunlight. They are a little harder to see out of, uh, out of, but it isn't impossible, as I understand. I have heard of them, but I rarely see them. The only prominent user of them I know of is the leader of the greatest criminal cardinal uh, in the capital of the Empire. Well, that sounds cheery. More to the point, 
How exactly do you know someone like that, Olivier? <laughs> As they say, it takes a monster to best understand a monster. Sunglasses, huh? Anyway, just before I went on break, I saw him coming up the road. Most of the travelers who pass by here stop in at the bar, so I figured I'd see him inside. I take it, he didn't? Yeah, that's the thing. He didn't show, so I asked Brahm and he said nobody's passed through. And he is a lazy slob, but he ain't so bad at his job that he just let a stranger pass through without checking. Hmm, perhaps he had business at your barracks? He may have spoken to your commander, for example. See, I was pretty curious at that point and asked the commander, and he said nobody's had nobody's been nobody been in there during that time period either. So I have to wonder what happened to that guy I saw. Doesn't seem like he came through. Okay, this is really suspicious. We should tell Kilika about this. Yes, this seems like a good lead. Thank you for sharing all this with us, Private Henning. Hey, my pleasure. I feel better having gotten it all off my chest. Good. I don't know why I give him like that voice, you know, it's like, hey, so <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, we're still not done first getting, huh? We should open uh, Okay. Oh, so maybe the innkeeper as well then. Talk. Hey, welcome to the origin. Um may I have a moment? Sure, what is it? Uh, so we're at the pressure guild. We'd like to help. We ha we'll like you to help with our investigation a little, if you can, anyway. No problem. Not like I have any customers, anyway. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> I still asking if anything odd had happened before and after the earthquake. Hmm, sorry. I can only remember the earthquake itself. Heck of a surprise that was. When it suddenly hit, I was like, Grrr! I was shocked. <laughs> so, was there nothing that caught your attention before or after the earthquake? Nothing particular different from the norm, no. I mean, I was in this bar the whole time, so there wouldn't be a whole lot that could happen. Uh, yeah, of course. Doesn't seem like there are any leads to follow here. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help. No, don't worry about it. Thanks for your cooperation. So, I guess that's it. Uh, yeah, we did. So maybe we should talk to you again. Anybody got a person who's only fine, but what happens when my man saw something? He put us around. Any more person up here? Ah, there we go. What, do you need something? Yeah, we're with the prison guild. We'd like you to help with our investigation. I don't mind, but please keep it short. As the last kid, if anything is suspicious has happened before and or after the earthquake. Earthquake? You mean the one three days ago? The day the earthquake happened was just a normal day. If anything suspicious had happened, I'd have reported long ago. I see. Seems this was a swing and a miss. Is that all you needed? Yes, that's plenty. We're sorry to have disturbed you during your job. No problem, we're both on the job after all, aren't we? Well then, if you'll excuse me. Fine. Hmm. So I guess that's pretty much it. Since there's nobody around except the chicken, if I can interrogate this chicken, then that will change everything. <laughs> but since I cannot interrogate the chicken, so I guess... We need to report the commander here. We can return to Gale after we... Really? Okay, fine. Hey, commander. Hello again. Were my men helpful? Actually, yeah. As I told Pace, or Pace. Passing about the man in sunglasses. So Henning saw a suspicious man. Hard to think he was something to do with the earthquakes, but he sounds suspicious regardless. I report this to command not commanded Layston at least. Please do. Alright, I think we've learned all we can here. Let's return to Kilika with what we know. Alright. Okay. It's back and forth. <laughs> back and forth. Investigating here and there. Alright. This is fun. Hey, you lot! What's up? Good, I made it in time. Huh? What do you mean, sir? Has something happened? I contacted Layston about what we talked about previously and heard something surprising. I figured it was up to me to let you all know. Surprising? What now? Wait, don't tell me. Yeah. Uh, there, was a, there was just an earthquake at the Sanctum Gate. Ah, what? Hearing this, Estelle's group rushed to the Sanctum Gate. Huh. 
Okay. What the hell is with you, full breezers? Can you see we're in the middle of clean up after the earthquake? If you have no nose around that, prefer you do it later. I'm afraid this is our job, sir. Clean up or no. You have my word. We won't get in the way. May we ask a few questions of the gate residents? Tch! If HQ hadn't ordered it, I'd tell you lot to clear out. I've got some urgent business to take care of. You can get the details from my second in command where an officer Talbot. He's in the storage or area over there cleaning up. Okay, we'll talk to him. Thanks. Just make damn sure you don't interfere with any actual work going on here. Now you will excuse me. Fine, jeez, the nerve. I mean, he's just get hit by an earthquake, so I can totally understand that. But still, though, you, do you really have to be this rude, you know, to the people? Whoa, it uh, really is kind of bad in here. Do you think we should help out a little? I mean, just to be friendly? This is a military facility, Estelle. I suggest we simply finish our business and go. There may be secret documents or some su some such in this mess that we that the military doesn't want us lowly civilians to see. Oh, yeah, good point, I guess. Still, this is quite a bit more damage than the city of Zai's earthquake, isn't it? That didn't cause nearly as much of a mess. The ferocity of the quake should be a primary line of inquiry, then. As well as asking about our mystery man. Yeah, that guy in the sunglasses. Well, first thing first, let's talk to the second guy, second in command guy. Storage area. Uh, not this one. This way. Not this way as well. So this way. I think. No. <laughs> this is leads to the outside. You said it's over there, so... Um, it's not over here as well, definitely. This place is confusing. This is reaching the top, yeah, so... Uh, where is it? Hmm... So, maybe there is a new, like, what is it? Uh, new agent, I guess? Uh, uh, attention, sure. Maybe this, actually? No? Ah, there we go. Alright. Crap, this is going to be such a pain to clean up. They'll have my hide if it isn't done by nightfall, though. Um, excuse me, so I disturb you. Hmm? And you are? Aston Company introduced themselves as bracers and explained they were investigating the earthquake. Ah, I see. Thanks for the concern. Even if Dale doesn't share my thanks. So, you want to know about what the situation was like when the earthquake happened, right? Yes, and please spare no detail. Understood. <clears throat> the earthquake began at roughly 1300 hours, two hours ago. The earthquake lasted around 30 seconds and was strong enough to knock down big piles of boxes. Wait, so compared to the quake at the World Fort? Both, actually. Yeah? Because before it only lasted for 10 seconds. So, both. Yes, the entire earthquake was worse, stronger and longer lasting. And then there was the one which welcomed us to Zeiss. The boot, I think, falling between the two. Meaning then, that the quakes are getting more powerful each time. That's uh, kind of bad, isn't it? <coughs> the situation does seem to be worsening, but these are natural occurrences. I don't see how we could stop them. I don't suppose the Prison Guild has any ideas? Um, well, we're not really sure yet, but we're uh, pursuing a few leads. Speaking of which, did anything um, weird happen before or after the earthquake? Like, were there any suspicious people walking around? Suspicious people? Hmm... Come to think of it, Chesley mentioned something about a strange man yesterday. Ah, uh huh. He's cleaning the roof if you want to hear the details from him. Chesley up on the roof. Very well. Thanks for helping us out, sir. Not at all. Good luck. So now we can totally be sure. We we hundred percent sure that the Ouroboros, the society, the new member of the society, I guess, because there I bet there are plenty of 
member of the society of the Ouroboros organization. Not only like five or something, so... Is it you? Huh? Well, you guys. You're Prophet Chesley, right? We're from the Prison Guild, Prophet Chesley. May we ask you a few questions about the earthquake that happened recently? As this group asked about the suspicious man Chesley saw. Oh, right. That came from yesterday. I don't know if he has anything to do with the earthquake, but I did see a tall man with black sunglasses around. Yep, now we're, we're totally sure now. I knew it. It must be the same man seen at the Wolf Fort. Sir, did you see what this man was doing? Oh, uh, well, he seemed like kind of a tourist really. Looked at the scenery for a bit, then came down. He sort of caught my attention since you don't see glasses like his often. He didn't say anything to me and walked off though. I didn't have a chance to talk to him. Hmm, okay. Did anyone else see this guy? Maybe? You know, that's where it gets weird thinking about it. I brought the guy up at, the, at dinner since he was kind of weird, but practically nobody else even saw the guy. The only one who remembered seeing him was Tammy, who works in the mess hall. Hmm, I like the word forward. This gate sees quite a bit of traffic. And yet, despite this, there are only two witnesses? How wonderfully spooky! Spooky or not, it would be a good idea to talk to this Tammy and see what she knows. You said she is in the mess hall, correct? Thanks, Chesley. You were a big help. No problem. And yeah, she should be in the mess hall. Good luck with your investigation. Okay, so who is this new challenger we have to fight? Because we already beat the blue blood. Well, technically we still haven't beat him, but still... We beat his challenge, I guess. Beat Blue Blanc challenges, you know. So here comes the new challenger, the tall guy with the black sunglasses on. No. Uh, I should be here then. <laughs> Phew! All clean again. Thank the goddess. Huh? You're Tammy, yes? We're from the Brazer Guild. You mind if we ask you a couple questions? A stealth party asked Tammy about the man in sunglasses she saw. Ooh, him, yeah. I passed by him in, on the second floor in the hallway yesterday. I think he was coming down from the roof. That would match what our soldier friend said. Yes. Did you exchange any words when you passed? Well, I did say hello. He just kind of grinned in response and said, Yo! <laughs> Yo! Ooh, just thinking about it makes me all tingly again. He was so wild. Okay. Hmm, I think I'm starting to get a picture of him. Do you remember what he was wearing? He had this dark suit, but opened really casually at the chest, right? He looked amazing in it. Oh, and he was wearing a pair of black gloves, I think. Oh, so sunglasses, a dark suit, and black gloves. Right. This guy might as well wear a sign on his head saying, I am sinister, be suspicious of my evil ways. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say suspicious, he just had a sense of danger about it. He is super dangerous, you know, Tammy. Stop getting impressed by it. <laughs> you know, that dangerous tough guy charm, right? Okay, here comes another weirdo. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so you just passed by and said hi and didn't see him afterward, right? Yeah, unfortunately. I am um, chased after him a little bit. I thought we could um um get to know each other or anyway, I lost track of him in a weird way. A weird way? How so? Hmm it'll be easier to show you. Follow me. Excuse me, Sanders, can I step out for a moment? Yeah, go ahead. Just get back before the dinner rush. Okay. So this is where I passed him, right here. He went walking in this direction. I turned to follow him after a moment, figuring I'd chat with him, right? Okay. Mm. When I turned, I saw that door over there closing. So I thought he must have stepped out. Here's my chance to talk to him before he leaves, so I followed him, but... I, I think it's the hologram again. 
maybe. By the time I screwed up my chorus and came out, he was nowhere to be seen. In other words, I lost him. But I lost him here. Lost? But wait a sec. How is that possible? This is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, and there's no way he could have jumped down from this height, right? I figured I made a mistake and thought he went elsewhere. I looked all over Sanctum for him, but I never saw him. Kinda makes me want to jump off at the end there. I missed my chance. Ah, you poor kitten. If it would please you, I could help you forget such a lesser man. Knock it off. No one deserves that kind of drama. I think we have a fairly good idea of what happened now. You were a big help. Thank you again. <laughs> You're welcome. So, um, is he some kind of wanted man? A super skilled, cold blooded assassin on the run from the Bracer Guild? I uh, don't know about that, but he's definitely a dangerous guy. Look, if you see him again, don't go near him, okay? Trust me. But he's so cool! Oh, oh well. Anyway, I've got some things to prepare, so excuse me. Keep up the good work, everyone. Hmm. So maybe it's a combination from the hologram and then the new one is the earthquake thingy. There's no way he could have jumped down from this height, right? Huh? Estelle, does that remind you of anyone? Yeah. Lawrence? I knew it! The silver-haired monster who jumped off the top of Grandsel Castle. The man we know as Lawrence. If the other ones are like him, I think they could jump from here and survive. Yes, I think it's safe to assume we know who our Wells and Glasses man is. Another enforcer of Ouroboros, just like the Phantom Thief then. I feel pretty confident saying that at this point, yes. I also feel I also feel confident saying we're done investigating. Let's return to the guild house. Alright. Okay, I have to walk all the way to the guild. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is really, really fun. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is, so let's just go straight to the guild, I guess. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. But maybe no, because then again, the the previous episode said that the... Uh, what is it? The hologram is still kind of 90% like uh, perfected, I guess. So it's still not 100% fully functional, I guess. So, your size. So yeah, I don't know, man. Hmm, I'm curious on who is this new person, you know, new challenges. Uh, that can control the earthquake, the earth itself, you know. That's gonna be an interesting or uh, gospel. Well, I mean, it's pretty much like the Black Orphans, but still, they call it the new gospel, so... We'll see what we learn. So let's head to Kilika. Oh, hey. Whoa, what's that? Tita, Professor, what are you doing here? Oh, Estelle, hi. Ha, perfect timing. Okay. We're done investigating the earthquakes, but uh, what are those machines there? <laughs> Good of you to ask, my dear. These are the little things I promised you earlier. We can get to that in a moment. First, you did, I assume, investigate the Sanctum Gate earthquake. I'd like to hear what you discovered both there and at the Wolf Fort. Right, okay, so, as I reported that what they had learned at the fort at the, and the gate. Hmm, so the earthquakes grow stronger with each occurrence, huh? This is quite serious, assuming the rate of growth you describe is constant. Yeah, one even stronger than the Sanctum one one effort stronger than the same team. One killing the city. Uh, <laughs> hold on. One effort. One even stronger than the same team. One hitting the city would be really, really bad. And the man is on glasses seen at both locations. I would say it is all but certain that the man is an agent of Ouroboros. Someone in town, in town, saw him too, huh? Yes. Mr. Murdoch heard of a report of a man matching that description while collecting information in the city for us. It seems he's also made an appearance in size. Given that, I think helping Professor Russell with his experiment is in our best interest. Ah, I see. Those devices the Professor brought will let us fight back with the power of, the, of science, hmm. Precisely so. 
These are septium vein measuring instruments I developed years ago. When placed properly on the ground, they can monitor the flow of a septium vein in real time. Septium... Uh, I know I always ask these questions, but um, what's a septium vein? There are huge veins on septium ore that run deep beneath the surface on the earth. The energy flowing along those them slowly moves to the surface. In the past, they were referred to as both earth veins and spirit veins, and I believe in the east they are called the dragon veins. Very knowledgeable, just so. The people of the the peoples of the east have built their greatest cities on places where dragon veins converge since time immemorial. The ideal has always been to gather the energy of the land and use it to give strength to the nation. Oh, okay then. I learned something. <laughs> so these devices can stop the stop earthquakes then? No, I'm afraid not. This will only monitor the flows passively. However, one leading theory is that earthquakes are caused in part by septium veins flows be, be bending the earth. If we monitor the veins, therefore, we may be able to discover something about what's causing this blast of quakes. I see. That means we need to make sure to get to set this up before. Another earthquake occurs. Given that you brought three devices, I think you have three spots in mind, Professor. I do. Take a look at the map. So, I need you kids to set this up in three locations in this region. Firstly, on the northern Trat Plains, where the stone circle is specifically. Next, smack. Dab! <laughs> so like dab in the middle of the Caldia tunnel from here is near the first bridge. Huh. And finally in front of Layston Fortress. Here, here and here. That's where I need you to place the devices. Okay. Okay, I've got all that down. So do we just need to set them on the ground? I'm afraid it isn't quite that easy. You'll need to insert the sensor needle into the ground at the right angle and also tune the antenna. An antenna? A transmission device, you mean? So these devices will transmit the information gathered to another location. Ha! You're sharp! The antenna will send the data to our cal calculating orb and the capital, so we can easily analyze the septium veins movements. With the capital, we can monitor all three locations at once. Uh, that sounds pretty cool, I guess. Will you be coming with us to help set this stuff up, Professor? No, I need to prepare the capital for all this. Dida knows how what to do. She can go with you. Hehe, <laughs> I get to work with Estelle again. Alrighty, Dida's worth her weight in Mira anyway. You don't mind, sh right, Shira? Not at all. Welcome aboard, Dita. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Miss Shira. Well then, I need to start tun tuning the capital. Once you've placed all the measuring instruments, head to the operations room in the central factory. Will do. Work hard, Grandpa. Yeah! <laughs> finally! Finally did that join our party! So, we need to get all this set up before the next earthquake. Let's get to it. Ah, before that, coordinating a group this large will be a little difficult. We should leave someone here in reserve while the rest of us handle the mission. Now, four people... When the time comes to form a party, you may choose member aside from any story mandated members. So... Oh, this is this is look interesting, you know. Uh, oh, even there is a whoa, there is even a description down there. Olivia has superior range and powerful arts not limited by lines. Uh huh. Chloe, expert at recovery arts, possesses useful support crafts. Indeed, she has the best ass break ever. Like seriously. Ah, Chloe. Okay. Man, that is really neat. <laughs> really neat character selection. Hmm. Well then. I shall while away my time upstairs. Should you require a genius help, you need but say the word. No, thank you. I get, I, I, I've got enough of you, Olivia. Just, just take a rest for now, okay? Let me, let me have a, a quality time with Tita, you know. Reserve party members will be on the second floor of the local guild house. By speaking with them, you may swap them out with any party members who aren't mandatory. This should be okay then. Let's see, so we need to set up instruments in the tunnel, on the fort on the north plains, and in front of Layston Fortress. Is there any other we should take all that in? I shall leave that to your judgment. I will, however, contact Layston ahead of you. 
If we explain our circumstances, I cannot imagine they will take issue with our gathering data in front of their gate. Good idea. Away we go then. Tita, sweetie, we're counting on you. I'll do my best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, any... Hmm. There's a lot of side quests. <laughs> The rumor of peeping trauma around the path and elbow spot spring uh, okay. So well I guess I'm gonna leave this episode quite short over here for now. Because I I have a lot of to do, a lot of stuff to do, like seriously. Uh setting the artman uh, the artman for all these people and then questing as well, that's the most important part. So yeah. I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> but anyway, um yeah, so I guess that's it for today, so sorry if it is quite short, but I feel like it's so, so it should be somewhere around 15 minutes or maybe an hour because I don't know because I still haven't edited it, so I don't know. But anyway, I guess I'm going to leave this episode here for now, guys. So yeah, we finally get it again to our party. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's so adorable. But uh, yeah, aside from that. We, we we learned that well actually we can we can kind of already assume from yesterday from the previous episode that this is actually the the Ouroboros agent of Ouroboros doing that uh, caused the earthquakes but hmm, but this gospel man is really interesting but because the first one is not really I guess it's not really like uh, cause any damage because it's just like a hologram it just you just appear and then that's it, you know, and it's just it doesn't cause any damages to the surrounding But this earthquake one If this going if this gospel gonna Finish or like 100% perfect it then it's gonna be bad like seriously because earthquakes that you can you can practically control the earthquakes, you know, so you can wipe out this entire continent in just one one press or one one cast magic or spell whatever it is so yeah we'll see what it, we'll see what happened in the next episode so we gonna we have a mission to do so to set all these devices that professor Russell gave us so anyway I'm just there's a lot of to do so yeah, anyway I guess that's for today well thank you so much for watching thank you for coming thank you for having fun together with me spread lost by the fun and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya